Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about creating the org structure. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Now let's get started. The org structure consists of the legal entity, business unit, divisions. If your company is big, you can also have subdivisions as well. The divisions consist of departments. And then we have call centers and locations. These are the basic foundation objects which comprise of my org structure. All these objects should be configured in the configure object definitions and proper permissions should be provided in order to create these objects in the system. In this video, we will be creating these objects and see how they appear in my company information. In order to create these objects, we should have permissions. In order to provide permissions, you need to go to the specific role and then search for MDF foundation objects in the permission section. Under the MDF foundation objects, you can provide permissions for creating, inserting or correct, delete, import or export for all the objects which comprise of the org structure. In this case, the business unit, cost center, department, division, the legal entity and the subdivision if you have in your system. Once these permissions are provided, you can then go to manage data and start creating your objects. Now let's first create the legal entity. In order to create the legal entity, type legal entity in the create new section under the manage data. Effective as of from which date do we want this legal entity available to the HR administrators or the payroll people to hire new employees under this particular legal entity. I can give the date as 1st of January 2018. The administrators will not be able to hire any employee under this legal entity before 1st of January 2018. Code is a unique code which identifies this particular legal entity and it can be any value. Since the legal entity is my company, I can give a proper name to my legal entity. Say for example, Google, which is a company. And in the description, I can give any description to my company. The status would be either active or inactive. Since I want to hire new employees in this particular legal entity, I would mark the status as active standard weekly hours let me give 40 this means that the employees under this legal entity would have a standard work schedule for 40 hours every week which would break down to eight hours every single day currency i can give usd so the currency of a legal entity would mean that employees hired under this legal entity would have a standard currency of the US dollars so the employees would be receiving their salaries in the US dollars official language could be US English country of registration as United States USA and here under the USA we have a different section which is the legal entity type Federal Reserve Bank ID district employer id eo company code and since this is not a mandatory section i can ignore as of now and click on save so i've successfully created a legal entity with an effective start date from 1st of january 2018 so under the legal entity i have different business units in order to create a business unit i will go to create new and search for business unit since my legal entity was valid from 1st of January 2018, I will create a business unit which is valid from the same date. Code could be any code to define my business unit, which is a unique value for this particular business unit. Name could be any name. And I have made the description same as a name. I want this status of the business unit to be active 
because I want this to be used head of the unit. This is a user field. You can select any particular user as the head of that particular unit. As of now, I'm just leaving it blank and I click on save. Once my business unit is created, I will create a division by going to create new division. I would like to keep the effective date same for all my objects. Here again, I've selected 1st of January 2018. Code is a unique code which defines my division. The name would be, say for example, it is an HR division. So I'll make it as human resource description let me keep it same as the division status active head of division as again a user field if you want you can give this and all these fields are optional can ignore as of now in the business unit so this is an association that a division is associated to a business unit i will provide the same business unit which i have just created and this association between the division and the business unit can be maintained in the object definitions. And once I have maintained these divisions, these association, I will save this. Under the division, I have a subdivision as well. So I will create new subdivision. Effective date, I will keep same as for all the other objects that I have created. Code will be a unique code for this particular subdivision. The name, since the division that I had created was the human resource division and under the human resource division, maybe a payroll subdivision. Description to be kept same as the name. Head of subdivision is again a user field. If you want, you can give this. For now, I'm keeping it blank. Core center, if you see this plus icon here, you can create the core center from here as well. I click on this particular icon. Effective date, I will be keeping it same as 1st of January 2018. This is just any code that you can give. So there are few custom fields as well in this particular object. And you can ignore those fields. For now, status active. I don't have any parent core center and the manager. And in US, the location can be Texas. And if you see here, I have a department which is associated to the core center. So in order to have these association, I have to create a department as well. So department can be created either by going to the manage data and by creating a new department or I can also click this plus icon here in order to add a department with the effective date, same as 1st of January 2018. Code, a unique code to identify this particular department. Name could be my payroll department. Description, same as my name, status, active, all these are not mandatory i can leave for now and approver i can have as any approver for now just because it is a mandatory field the drop down that you see here was a list of positions so the approver is marked as a position field and not a user field in this case it again depends upon how you want to configure your scenarios so i was in the process of creating a subdivision so I do not have any subdivision to assign here. And since location is a mandatory field, I need to first have location to create my department successfully. So I will just leave this as is and I'll go to manage organization pay and job structures in order to create the location. Locations are not available in the manage data. I'll create new location starting from the effective date as 1st of January 2018. The code could 
be any specific code which describes this particular location the name of the location could be silly rcm country australia state nsw country here would be australia the business address state nsw or new south wales the address line one could be maston park city sydney just rcm city is required so once all the mandatory fields are provided we can save the location the location which is valid as of 1st of january 2018 is created now i can then go to the department that i was created and select the location in the department association and click on save so once the department is created i can close this and use the department that i had created in the cost center association the payroll department that we have created is selected here in the department association with the cost center and clicking on save will create the cost center with the code one two three four and i'll just close this use the cost center that was just created in the subdivision the division that was created and click on save we can see that our legal entities business unit division subdivision department and location objects are created in the system we can now create a new position using the objects that we have just created in order to create a new position i'll go to create new and search for position a new position can be created from 1st of january 2018 by providing all the mandatory fields that are required for the creation of a new position as of now i am only focusing on creating this object successfully i'll select the jh job family as finance and the JH position title is the payroll accountant location that I have just created start date from 1st of January 2018 till 31st of December 2025 employee class a staff employee who is a full-time employee with an FTE of 1 and in the other admin use only section where the organization details are available I will provide the company that I have created in the system the legal entity Google and if you see in the business unit section I will have the business unit that i have created which is the google office in the division if you see i have the division human resource which i just created which was associated to my business unit because the business unit has an association with the division only those divisions would be available in this particular field which are associated to that specific business unit which i have selected in the field above the same holds good for the relationship between the division and the subdivision objects as well here if you see the payroll subdivision which we have just created is available in this drop down because of the association between the division and the subdivision objects selecting the payroll subdivision next is the department i see that there is no department available under the subdivision the reason behind this is at the time of creation of the department the subdivision was not yet created so i had skipped the association between the department and the subdivision so i will go to the department object and under the subdivision i will select the subdivision that i have created and will click on save once this is saved the department 
should be available under the subdivision that we have selected here i have the department as well cost center the cost center that i just created and finally i will save this position i have this field as mandatory so maybe i can say that it is an a corporate position or an office position just save this it goes for approval i'll click on confirm i will proxy as the approver the creation of a position can be marked to go for approval a workflow gets triggered on save of a position object this is configured in the configure object definitions i have proxied as the approver of this particular position and in the to do approve request i could see that there is a workflow which says that it is initiated on 14th of june and i can now approve this particular position once the position is approved the position number gets created and i can then go to home company info under the position org chart i can search by the position that was just created under the legal entity that we have created so if you can see here we have the department as the payroll department and this is the same department that we have created for our demo purposes so in this video we learned about the creation of the different org structures the different components of the org structure like the legal entity business unit division subdivisions department location cost center and we also created a position and how this position is available in the position org chart so thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you do remember to check my other videos you can check the link that you see on the screen as well please do comment in the comment section if you're looking for any specific topics in the employee central area see you soon in my next video thank you bye for now